Right, so, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Broken Soul 5. Um, now, things are starting to get interesting. If you haven't seen the latest episode, I shall put the link up in the top right corner here, somewhere here. Um, there you go, go check that out before you watch this, because then you're sort of clued up to where we're up to. Um, so, this guy says he's lost the key to... The room which is behind this door um but he spent the time drinking and he forgot where he put it now i remember we have try and get into the place with the goat there was a load of empty bottles so i believe that's where it's going to be so let's go have a look to the car see all these bottles here so i'm guessing the key is going to be in the car but I don't think the goat's going to attack. So we have a look. See if the goat attacks Nico like George. Hello, little one. <laughs> <laughs> Must just eat men. <laughs> there we go, look. As simple as that. Right, what have we got? Pillow. I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon's. The library will forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place. Once I've eaten. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. Nice. Hey, I was reading <laughs> that. Hungry goat. Uh, Nico's got that voice, hasn't she? Eh? She could talk to me all night long. Fuck it, stop it. Uh, tin, tin can the keys. floor of the car was littered with keys from sardine cans. Okay. Uh, blankets. Someone had been bar. sleeping in the car, but long, long ago. Long, long ago. So. The dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. I was hoping the keys would be right here and plain of An day. An old pair of shoes. An old pair of. An old pair of shoes. An old pair of shoes. In amongst the rubbish on the car floor was an old brandy bottle. Uh, so there's no uh, glove compartment, radio. There's no point in messing with that. Steering wheel can't do anything with that. This door. The inside now. of the car was in a bad state. Morning. Seat, handbrake, gear leader, dashboard. The dashboard seemed intact. Yeah, looked at that radio. A 5G71, extraordinary. Okay, so I don't think it's going to give us anything. So, don't walk past the goat. Why did you do that? Have you no respect for great art? Pretty indigestible, huh? <laughs> So, bottles. A heap of old brandy bottles. Ramon must have been in the car on that night all those years ago. Yeah, well, I was hoping to uh, find the keys in there. A pile, pile of old apples. Looked like the goat had been eating lots of them. But the goat have the key. No. <laughs> well, there we go. I was hoping to find the keys in the car, but obviously not. So, to the fountain. Let's go back here. Maybe uh, Eva will know. Eva, I am glad your father is safe. He's old and foolish. He shouldn't be here, but he wouldn't listen to me. 
I suppose he's still going on about that painting. Well, yes. In fact, we decoded it. You did? Yes. We found a secret passage behind the fireplace. What? Your father and Georges went in. What? That's ridiculous. He's an old man. Don't worry. Georges knows what he's doing. So he always tells me anyway. Hmm. Uh, library either. Your Not father sure. is looking very frail. He's old, and he could do without people giving him the runaround chasing lost treasure. Okay. Have you ever been inside the library? No, I'm told it is locked. The key is lost. Ramon says he hid it years ago and cannot remember where. Shame. Can you think of anywhere Ramon might have hidden the key? What do you think I am, psychic? Just give us something, you know what I mean? Seen anything suspicious? Apart from you and your American boyfriend, no. He's not my boyfriend, you know. Can't fight. Whatever. Can't fight. Uh, do you want some more? Talk to no. you later. <laughs> fountain. The fountain had dried up long ago. Wasn't the keys in the fountain? No. Statue. It was an old statue, like the one Georges placed on the mantelpiece. Yeah. Sundial. According to the sundial, it was mid afternoonish. Okay. Wind chime. The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. Any keys on it? I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. What can I go over there? Door. Can we not look at the wind chime? Oh, here we go. Look, we're looking now. One old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. There was something in it. Here we go. And there it was. The key. The key to the library. See, I knew it. Sometimes you have to just like go back to something three or four times and it'll like find something that you didn't find the first time and it's like what just wasting my time all right key the door was locked oh <laughs> come on nico help me out for god's sake get the key out your pocket thank you ramon had been true to his word this place was like a shrine it's like a shrine. Uh, what have we got? Desk. First thing we check is the desk. The table had been cleared. Suit of armor. The old armor was in pride of place. Genon clearly hadn't moved it. Chest, trunk. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions. At a guess, Genon's. I wondered what secrets they might hold. Hmm. Map. Here we go. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. Georges would be so jealous. Meanwhile. So, what is this place, senor? It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the Tabula Veritatis from under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the tabula? 
The Cathars were Gnostics. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are equal, that God is within you, and that the Church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his Church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here at Montségur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics, but a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. It's a nice little history lesson. Sadly, it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secrets of the tabula. So, you understand why La Maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. Well, nobody the knows where it is, so here, just so leave it alone. We need to find out why. Uh, let's have a look at the spiky thing here. Look, with the candle on it. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. Candle harblum. Statue. Oh, what's up? Glass lens. Let's go. It was a lens. large marble statue of a young man holding some sort of colored glass lens. These statues. What of them? They're just like the figures in the painting. And on the fireplace. Indeed. They are the two pillars of the Gnostic ah. faith in harmony. So who's one got the green, the one blue? one is Yahweh, Jehovah, God of the physical world. The other is known by many names. Helel, Ishtar. He is the bearer of light, Luxfere, Lucifer. Lucifer? So you guys are devil worshippers? <laughs> no. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition, driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to advance, just as Jehovah when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism. Gnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. But what if one were to rule without the other? If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist mindlessly dependent, mere pawns of a controlling power. And what if Lucifer ruled without Jehovah? Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. Society would descend into chaos, disorder and war would prevail. Mm. Then Lucifer would be the devil indeed. Hmm. Right, glass lens. Can we turn these? It was a glass wheel divided into six colors, and it looked like it could be rotated. Part of the lens was covered. Right. The color changed from yellow to green. Yellow to green. I'll sit in it. And. The so I just brought that up. Right, so let's go over here. This should be blue, shouldn't it? 
Marquez had told me that this was a. Yeah, grab the wheel. I know I've got the statues inside. It was a glass Come part of the lens. Come on then. We know what it is. We just need it rotating. So this needs to be blue. I'm assuming. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. Did it? The fresco deserved a proper examination. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. Well, that's obviously not right, is it? Town. You see, the colours have turned up, so right, if we change this one, has this one got blue? Maybe it's the other way around. So if we have, yeah. The colour changed from green to turquoise. The colour changed from turquoise to blue. That's going to go a million in it. Right, so blue and blue. Right, so if we go over here. The color changed. The color changed. The color changed from red to yellow. I know green, not yellow. The color changed from yellow to green. No, it's just the same, isn't it? So let's change this one again. The color changed from red to yellow. Yellow? Yellow does absolutely nothing. The colour changed from yellow to green. The so colour changed from... So that's blue, really. Let's go this way. No. Marquez it yeah, I know. I put the statue, not the thing on the side. The colour changed from green. Uh. Nothing. The colour changed from turquoise to blue. And they're both blue now, aren't they? See, blue gives more of a definition of... trail on the map. You know what I mean? A town of northern Catalonia. A town of... No maybe... Maybe... Ah, maybe... Matches all yeah, I know. Or maybe. I only had a few matches. I only had. I take it we need like this. This might be the final. Just what this place needed. Bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. Will the mirror do anything? I'm pretty sure I didn't want to burn that. No, but can we direct the light off the mirror? Well, the music's kicked in now, so... It was a candle. The candle was lit. The candle was lit. Yeah, I know. We've just lit this. Um, so, it's something to do with that. So, if that's... This might be green, aren't it? The colour changed. The yeah. colour changed. Get the up. color changed. Get up. The color changed from Get yellow up. to green. Maybe shining the torch. That what? It's shining the mirror. Directing that one. Ah, hang on, hang on. Medallion. Here we go. Light shone through the glass of the medallion, causing dappled red light to fall on the fresco. It meant something, but I didn't know what. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, can I not put the medallion in here? That was ne I removed the small leather cup. Ah! And shone under the fresh. Right, so... That, ah, that... Ah, here we go. Here we go. I didn't realise I got leather cups. So one side green, one side blue. Colored light from the road. The color changed. 
The color changed. The color changed. The color changed from turquoise to blue. Alright, now if we shine this up against the candle, will that change it? Amazing. There we go. The light is showing the path. The path of the Bonzong. The what? The sacred trail my ancestors took across the Pyrenees, carrying the Tabula Veritatis from Mont Segur across the mountains to this town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. But its coat of arms is quite distinctive. But how does it bring us closer to the Tabula? It tells us the route the Tabula took 800 years ago. Hmm, I think that's all we're going to find up here. You're right. We should return to the hall. Eva will be getting worried. Okay, we found the route of the Bonzom Trail. How does it help us? It must somehow relate to the painting. <coughs> Papa, are you crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here to look after you, so let me do it. Ramon is outside keeping watch. Georges, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. It's a Gnostic chapel. All laid out for worshipping not one god, but two. What? I'll what? tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it. Will he let me take the painting? What are you doing with La Maledizio? Nico found something and asked me to bring the painting. I promise to take care of it. Promise to take care of it. Eva, go with him. Make sure the painting comes to no harm. <laughs> I should stay with you, Papa. Don't worry about me. La Maledicio is more important. Now so he trusts us after we brought the painting back to him. You know what I mean? Have you brought the painting? Sure, why do you want it? Because I found out what Ganon was up to. The Ganon who tried to buy the painting from Madovsky? No, Ganon who led the fascists here during the Civil War. Ganon who then spent months here searching for something. And who vanished one day, leaving that trunk full of goodies over there. You think he's connected to the Ganon who wrote the letter to Madovsky? It seems likely that they were related. Hmm, maybe. So, what's the plan you've uncovered? Take a look at this. Let's have a look. It's Ganon's map. He was searching for something. Searching for what exactly? The Tabula Veritatis, I guess. You think he found it? I doubt it. If he had, then people wouldn't still be chasing after the painting. So why did you want me to bring it? See this scribble in the sea? It's the same shape as the circles around the Ouroboros. Yes, ah. Genan thought that pattern in a painting had something to do with a map of Catalonia. So, I guess we try to finish what Genan started. I'd put money on those circles around the Ouroboros being places in Catalonia. But which places? Maybe the painting can give us some more clues. Oh, let's get the painting out. That was never going to happen. <laughs> the map had to... Uh, your objective is to solve the clues hidden in La Maledictio and the, mark the four key locations. To mark location, pick up a pen placed on the map. You will know when you have correctly identified the four, those four locations. The mountain range of Montserrat. Yeah, well, I need the map. 
What? Eva was still suspicious of us, but I was glad. Ah, hang on. So, we'll go look at the trunk then. I removed the oil cloth from the chest. Okay. I picked up the blanket. There was nothing underneath it. I lifted the hat out of the chest. There was something tucked beneath the shirt. Ah, here we go. I picked up the folded note. It was a telegram. And there was under nothing the underneath the other shirt. I had boots. no desire to take the old boots. I had no desire to take the old boots. The old boots which had like disappeared. Nothing else disappeared, does it? No. So the books don't need oil cloth. There's nothing. Can't shit the pockets. Can't. There was a fold. There's what? There was a fold. Shit. I put everything back in the chest. Good lad. So we found telegram. Uh, oh, the telegram has been encoded with the substitute cipher. To cut the code, highlight the letter on the telegram and then choose the corresponding letter from the bottom of the alphabet. Your chosen letters will appear on the telegram, and you should soon see the correct words start to form. If you make a mistake, simply select the letter again and reassign it. What? Is that going to be like you? So if I do that... You. No. Or maybe how? Right. I'm going to have to decipher that in a bit because that is hard. The fresco pointed me to Monsegur. Well, mark it on the map. Monsegur. Uh, there. This was one of the locations highlighted on the fresco. And this was the starting point of the journey of the Bonon. The good man. The Katas, right? Right. So then the second point will be there. the municipality of Pucerda. I couldn't be sure that it was the right place. Right. So the coat of arms, that was it, wasn't it? It was a shield on which heraldic symbols had been painted. The coat of arms was exactly the same as the one depicted on the fresco. It read Berga. Berga! Four clues, four locations. I just needed to pinpoint the location they referred to. Right, so I am using a couple of hints on this. So, this is the coat of arms on the fresco pointed us towards Berga. Then it must be important. Two locations down. If the vignettes on the painting were anything to go by, I needed to find two more. I wasn't sure that I had all the information I needed to pinpoint the important locations. Yes, I'm using clues for this. So, <laughs> so San the Ramon. The village of San Ramon. San Ramon. Ramon told me he was named after a, a Saint Ramon. There's also a saint on the painting. Let me guess, he has a hefty padlock to his lips? I'd found three locations. Now I had to track down the last one. Well, the next one, because obviously we've got them two. That one. So I'll take it the big one's going to be Monsteret and the other one's going to be Vic. The municipality of Vic. Put it there. What was it going to be? The municipality of Figueres. That was a total guess. Maybe the painting or fresco would have helped. I wasn't sure that I had all the information. 
Another hint. For example, sentences in the telegrams end with, with stop. Here we go. So, yeah, so this is going to be the word stop. Which still isn't going to help me. To Nagapo. Like I say, I'm absolutely hopeless at this. So, of Uh, does that give me anything else? Uh, so we've got a P on its own here. Um, so that's... Eh? Tabula Veritara. Eva was still suspicious, but I was glad. Ah, uh, ah, uh, to ah. Uh. Right, here we go. Bula. Tabula. I just want Vela, 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 this. Veritatis, Veritatis. Veritatis, Ve... Eretatus. The, the, eh? the tabula veritas was smuggled. Ah, it's coming to me now. Smuggled. Uh, de. Out of, uh, what's that thing? It's uh, So, ne. Montesquieu to C Catalonia. Montesquieu, Montesquieu to Catalonia. Group of Qatar survivors. Stop. I have confirmed this from confessions. Some, what's... The Dominican in in uh, oh man extracted aha by I said to it. The tab tabula veritaris was smuggled out of Montesquieu to Catalonia by a group of Qatar survivors. Stop. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican it oh, in, in, Inquisitor. K Inquisitor. K -k 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 -k. There we I go. I deciphered the telegram. The Tabula Veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emmerich of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. Yeah, so I had to take a couple of hints to start me off with that because that was not easy. So, uh, what have we got to know? Time to take another look at the map. Four clues, four locations. I just needed a pinpoint. Girona. My Girona. The Dominican monk Emmerich was from Girona. The dog-headed priest on the painting. I could see a pattern emerging. The locations had formed an odd cross shape. 
similar to the layout of the orbs depicted on the painting. Monsters are This is the center point of the cross, so the tabula must be here. Montserrat. It has to be Montserrat. The question is, what's Montserrat? It's a monastery in the mountains, quite a tourist spot. But there's something else. I think it used to be a Gnostic refuge, hundreds of years ago. Bravo! Oh, here we go. Dovsky? No. No. Langham. No. It's Genan, isn't it? Very good, Miss Collard. So, what happened to the real Langham? He went for a long swim. In the same. Now, I was expecting to have to rip this place apart and retrace my grandfather's steps, but I do believe you have saved me quite a lot of work. The tabula is at Montserrat. Who would have thought it? Ah, oh, don't the old don't man mind. will be coming with me. No, please, take me instead. He doesn't know anything. And you do? I think not. But he is old. Eva, hold your peace, child. You can't do this. Oh, but I can. I will. Man is weak, servile, controlled. He must be freed. Freed from all constraints. Free to fulfill his desires. And you plan to raise the devil to achieve that? Not the devil. Lucifer. Now, if you don't mind, we have a long journey ahead of us. Whoa! Come on. They can rot in there. <laughs> we have to get out of here now. I assume that lunatic is as dangerous as he looks. I'm afraid so, Eva. I think he's killed before. You know, Nico, we were chasing Madovsky, but all along, we were really up against Ganon's grandson. Hmm. Thought he was a bit suspicious when he come bowling in the uh, gallery, saying he was an art theft specialist. Um, so, what happened to the other guy? Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've watched all the way through, you are amazing and you are really appreciated. Um, thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next episode, guys. Thank you.